Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Try an Indie. I'm with the dance number. Uh, today we're going to be playing a game called Res, Please, or at least the demo for it. Um, we'll be checking this game out. It seems to be a cooperative puzzle platformer, but it did say there was some single player to it as well, so we'll be giving that a shot here. Let's go ahead and new game. Yeah, we got one player, two players. And I'm actually playing with an Xbox One controller. They've included X input controls, which I love. So let's give her a shot. Try and get my mouse a little out of the way there. It was a time of peace. A time when magic was used strictly for good. Or so we thought. There was a force that sought to upset the balance. An ancient order of wizards corrupted by an old god that craved power above all else. So I'm going to try and be quiet while the, while the lady talks so we can listen to the voice acting. So if I'm not commenting, that's why. Okay, so I like the word wizard decide. Um, it's pretty wild. I also like that drawing on the left of that dude just sucking the soul out of that boy. That's wild. Among this class of wizards were two unlikely heroes. Brothers, Arkin and Zeth. A couple of less than promising mages to be. The boy's parents, in their wisdom, left their it's an anime. sons scrolls of greater resurrection. Should something go mortally wrong during their studies? When the Dark Ones came to destroy the university campus, the ground opened up and swallowed Arkin and Zeth whole. In the caves below, the boys encountered a Skullerfly that began to follow them on their journey. Townsfolk considered this an omen of difficult trials ahead. Hey, listen! That's a Skullerfly voice right there, if I ever heard one. All right, and we're on to it. Left joystick, move, swing, X is attack or throw. B, alley, oop, grab and pick up A, jump, Y is res or switch players. Press jump when you're ready. That's the A button. All right. I like that sprite art. That looks really good. Bransonian Caves, Lava is a Battlefield. That was a close one. I can't believe we sur- Oh, shit! Took the words out of my mouth, so, but... Look at that. Press the Y button. Your boy's back. So, yeah. Press the Y to swap. A little bit of a Lost Vikings vibe, I guess. You can stand on his head. I bet you with two people you could do some weird, like, chain jumping crap if you were really skilled. Um, the Skullerfly, he's changing colors to let me know who I'm controlling right now. That's very useful. So, we've got green and blue man. Um, looks like we have a limited amount of resurrections that each guy can cast. So, green died once, so blue used a res. You can see in the top right corner. Um, very, very nice sprite work so far, though. I like the parallax chains moving in the foreground and background. Um, the spikes. Overall, very impressed on a short impression here. Hold B in air to grab chains. Wait, can I grab these foreground chains or what's going on here? Oh, okay, so that's the alley -oop maneuver. Oh, this chain is what we're talking about. All right, yeah. Durr. You let go of B. All right, that feels really good. Um, one thing I'm noting immediately is the developer took time to actually have their controls feel good. All right, so we're going to do this. Nice and easy. Swap back over. Climb up. Jump across. Beautiful. Alright. Um, something tells me I'm going to die when I step on this. Well, maybe not. I'm 
what is with this skull? It's freaking me out, man. I'm gonna take it with me. Okay. But... <laughs> that means I can make it over here. Can I res my buddy to be... Yeah, they res right next to you. Alright. Cool, so... Since we're gonna give set up a nice little jump. I played a game with a similar mechanic to this that was single player as well. Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's like Rad Bear Adventures or something. You're like this radical looking pink teddy bear. Um, and yeah, there was a death mechanic that allowed you to do stuff. Like, I bet you. Well, first, we're gonna see if we can jump on the head. Yes, we can. Second, we're going to see if we can just body block him. Alright, that didn't work. Alright. Oh, okay. Um, jump to the lava. Jump off his head. We both died. That's, that's rough, man. Okay. Um, green needs to die here. Shit. Is that it? Are we out of lives? Oh, god damn it. Alright. Try again. Out of Lazarus stones. Shit. They both died. Okay. So I gotta do a little bit more thinking outside the box here. So you're going to lost on level zero, 0 I'm liking it so far, though. I think maybe with two players, it'd be... Jeez. That's going to spook me out every time. I think with, like, two human players, it might be a little bit easier, because you could, uh... Well, mostly just to, like, brainstorm ideas together, I think would be very helpful. Also, I wonder if I can get up there. No, I can't. Alright, get back over there, sir. Then this is the alley oop maneuver. Do one of those. Hit the switch. Get over. Oh, see so you can you can ledge guard your brother, I suppose. I wonder if we can do something with this skull and that uh, fireball shooting dude. Oh yeah, I, I have a melee. I totally forgot about that. That's how you deal with the little skull boy. Alright, blue. Ooh, what is this? Frame drops all of a sudden there. That was weird. You can't push your brother over the ledge. Alright, let's take him out. Easy. All right. Oh, and that brings down the platform. Makes this section way easier. Cool. So that was to teach me how to kill an enemy. Although I think what I was doing before was probably a viable way of beating it. I just uh, wouldn't recommend it. Is this a secret? We found a secret, boys. Green tends to die a lot. You found a new mask. What would you like to do with it? Wear it! I don't know what it does.
All right, we want to hit this guy in the back for sure. What the heck? He's the world's strongest monster. Right, let's try this again. You know, I say all these guys can do is resurrect each other, but I'll get owned. Be useful if they could cast like a fireball or something, right? Alley oop, my dude. Okay, no, you. Oh, no, maybe you. Alright. Grab this gourd. Oh, it's background. Oh! Shit. All right, that was that was pretty cool. Got a time the lava jump. I've played some hothead hop in my times. All right, uh, let's give her a shot. That was scary. Oh, only one person has to make it. Not too bad. That was really cool. It seems to be that's the whole demo, though. You know what? That's not a bad thing, though. From what I saw, very cool game. Um, yeah, no, I, I liked it a lot. I could see myself actually legitimately, like, sitting down with a friend. And, you know, if there's a good selection of levels with some very varied puzzles, um, maybe a couple more mechanics. Like, I don't know, maybe throw in some sort of weird, like, time freeze mechanic or something. I don't know. Um... You just you just make one other little twist to, to, to just spice it up just a little bit beyond the, you know, two people co-op thing. And yeah, I think there's a really solid game there. Um, artwork was great. Music felt fitting to the game. It was a touch on the generic side, but I didn't hate it. I didn't find myself thinking at any point in time I was, uh, you know, this is this is boring. But overall, awesome demo. Liked what I saw there. Excited to play more of it eventually when it does come out. Um, so that was Reds, please. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm with the dance number. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter or Twitch TV. Have a great day. Thank you.